Hello, Martin. Hello to all my listeners. And welcome to all Mrs. Merton can help you. There was a lot of emphasis on the you there, wasn't there? It was. So, how are you, Martin? I'm fine. I'm fine. I don't, you know, I'm a little bit tired, actually. Oh, you look a bit, you know, pale and, and wan. Mm, oh, I am wan. It's, uh, no, I, I do feel a bit pale and wan because uh, the, our, our little girl's been waking up very early in the morning. Is so. she? Mm. Teething, is it? Yes, she she is. Uh, she's teething. <laughs> she is. Oh, you yeah. see, they can be very noisy when they're teething because, of course, it hurts them mm. in the gum area. Yeah. So I've got a letter from Simon Peacock. He lives at Needle Hall, Northgate, Cottingham, Hull, HU16 5QN. Dear Mrs. Merton, Recently, I returned from a hard day at the degree factory. I think it's a clever way of saying university. He's a student, isn't he? That's a hall of residence he's writing from, isn't it? Oh, is it? Mm. Oh. Mm. To find that my old curtains had been replaced by another pair. The curtains were not, and indeed still are not, of a sufficient length to cover the whole of the window. Mm. That's it. So he's asking me for a solution for it and Simon Peacock is called. So I've had many letters like this, Martin, okay. nets not being of sufficient length, and I've done a little bit of detective work, and they were all from Hull, you see. Oh. So I thought, well, they must be buying them somewhere from someone in Hull, some shady character. So I went along to Hull, and it was a Mr. Bayswater, who's the only man who sells net curtains, and you know what it was? What? His measuring tape had been interfered with, oh. and he'd, you know, measure a length of net for somebody, and it would be too short. So, in fact, he, he wasn't a shady character. He's a very nice man. Well, see, he was he gave a nice me man. tea and scones. Very apologetic, yes. and he's bald. And he said to me that now, because of course he went out and bought a new measure right. measuring tape and of course now everything will be well in the whole area but it still doesn't solve simon peacock's problem no, because he's still he's still got the short curtains he ha and he? a lot of people in hull in, have yes. got the short curtains what do you do i've thought long and hard because of course even though he's a student he won't want people to be peeking at him while he's undressing because of course with the nets being too short, they could, they could see they could anything, see anything near the window vicinity. So I was thinking, have you seen those fairy things that you get to the bottom of your door to the, keep out the draft? The draft excluders. Yes, hmm. he could put one of those along, you see, hmm. and it, it would be ample to, to cover the little hmm. bit that he needs covering. He could do that, couldn't he? He could yeah. do that, yes. Because you don't know how big the gap is. I mean, it might be bigger than that. He hasn't put a, you know, in Dimension. He's not put a dimension. Measure. No, he hasn't. So I'm assuming we're talking two, three inches. Mm. So if he could maybe, and those are quite furry and quite big, some of them, aren't they? Oh, so if yes. he could put one of those there, or books, because I'm assuming he'll have some books as a student. Uh, uh, yes, yes. I don't normally like students, as you know, but he seems a very, very nice one, and he's written on 100% recycled paper. Has he? Which, which is a very modern environmental thing to do. Mm. So that, that, but of course he's saving the ozone layer. Is he? He is indeed, oh, right. because it's recycled, you see. And of course they don't have to bother it, really. So, so that's that's nice. That's good. That's very good, isn't it? That's um, lovely. A lot, a lot of people are buying recycled stuff in the supermarkets, mm. but they don't tend to come in as nice containers. So I think that's something for them to look out for. Yes. You know, it'd be nice if they, the recyclers came in nice, lots of nice packaging. With yes, the, you see, they seem to be doing away with it, yeah. and I, I, I it'd be more attractive, wouldn't oh, it? If people it was would nice buy price. more of it. You yeah. see, if it if it was in better packages. Mm. So that's something for the, the manufacturers to look at. Mm. But I'd like to congratulate Simon in his own little way. Even with his short nets, he's still trying to save the, the layer, the ozone layer. 
Well, he probably can see it, you see, through his nets, you see, it's the way he's so, you know, aware. Interested, isn't he, yeah. Now, and that, on to joke time. Oh, right. Well, you've dealt with that one. Tra draft excluders. The draft the excluders, or books. Or books. books, yes. And, um, hopefully he'll finish his studies soon hmm. and be back out into the world. Right. Because students, I think, you know... He wants a picture of you, doesn't he, I think? He does he... indeed, yes. He, he, he wants... He sent me an envelope now. Oh. Lovely. Uh, yes, he does want a picture of me, which is quite odd because students don't usually want pictures. They just want money. So this is on to jokes now. And uh, this joke's been sent in by David Hoy oh, no, David from Hoy Lake. And this is David Hoy Lake. David from no, Hoy David Lake. Lake Merseyside, yeah. I saw the letter. Oh, did you? You've been peeking in my mailbag. Well, no, it was a postcard and I could see... Oh, yes. ...on the back. And I didn't, tend... I, 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 I didn't... If I'd known it was for you, I wouldn't have read it. But when I picked the postcard up, the back side was... I uh, bet it was. See, that's something lovely, I think, in summer for, for postmen. Because, of course, all in the winter they can't see through the envelopes and then come summer it's a little treat for them mm. because they can look at a lovely scenario on the postcard and read the back right. and it's something for them to do because of course it's quite a boring job being a postman because you're just putting letters into somebody's into somebody's little uh, letterbox uh, it, it tends to get boring so if they've got postcards in the summer they enjoy it much, much more. So maybe if you do write a postcard back from your holidays, if you could maybe write a little thing for the postman on it. Mm. Give him extra satisfaction. Yeah. So joke time now. Uh, from David in High Lake. Now, what's the difference between a, oh, a coconut and a Yorkshire man? What's the difference between a coconut and a Yorkshire man? I don't know. There's quite a lot of differences, I would think. But the, what Dave, David said as a joke is, you can get a drink out of a coconut. You can get a drink out of a coconut. That's the joke. Right. Because, of course, the joke, you see, um, because you, a coconut splits in half, milky substance, and a Yorkshire man... It doesn't. Uh, doesn't, and of course they're implying that Yorkshire men are mean with the money. Right. Mean with the money, and I'm sure if people are listening from Yorkshire, that he doesn't mean all of them because it's Scots, really, isn't it, Martin? Who are the mean ones? Well, I don't know. I mean, there might be people listening in Scotland, so not all of them. I think most of them. Oh. Most of them, Martin. Oh, so that's a very, very funny joke from Liverpool. Because a lot of people in Liverpool have a big sense of humour, I'm told. Yeah. I'm told that, you know, a funny nation of... of, of well, of, not really a nation, is it? It's more of a town. More of a... It, more, they're a funny town. Funny people in a funny town like to laugh, and so does David, obviously, with his joke. <laughs> so that's all from Joke Town. And, in fact, that's all from me yeah. and your problems. And if you'd... I've forgotten what I was going to say. Well, if you've got, got a problem, problem it, it's my own catchphrase cat and I can't it's remember it. Exactly. It's like if Brucey came out, he would forget to say... Nice to see you. It would be funny, wouldn't it? Because would be he wouldn't know what he was know, doing. You, you know he wears head. a toupee mm. on his head. Mm. So the best place to wear it, really. If you've got a problem, big or small, Mrs Merton can help you all. And I think that's a nice way to finish. <laughs> <laughs>